All right, let's talk about our forecast now because uh, you can get basically whatever you want. Again, we're still some communities in those triple digits, but uh, hopefully they're getting a little relief shortly. Absolutely. You saw it out there when Lindsay was outside yesterday. Significant heat still mm -hmm. sticking around in those interiors. But along those beaches, honestly, a little bit on the chilly side yesterday, we had a few communities with over a 40 degree difference in those temperatures in just a few miles. And that's all thanks to this, that marine influence that is continuing to keep us on the cooler side by our beaches, warmer in the interiors. Now, right now, about 53 degrees outside at Pismo Beach. You can see that dense fog is very much in place this morning. Can't even see to the end of the appear at this point at this camera from 805 webcams. We've got continuing to see a little bit more of that dense fog through many of our communities to start off this morning, but it is coming in from a little bit of a different direction this morning coming in from the south. So we typically see it coming in from the west, and this is also going to help keep us a little bit with those changing conditions. Lots more of that dense fog along our south coast, and also it's going to change where a lot of the smoke from the lake fire is headed. So big differences in that pattern, but that's actually because that high pressure that has driven this heat wave is slowly moving to the east and it's going to clear us out very quickly and we're going to start seeing much more moderate temperatures soon. Checking out those visibilities, not great visibilities for many communities, about one mile in Santa Maria, some limited visibilities by our coasts and along our south coast, a little bit tricky there as well, but clear in those interiors, that marine layer has not extended into the interior valleys just yet, but it will over the next couple of days. So there is better news on the way. You can really see the difference those southerly winds made in the Lake Fire Smoke Shield. That's really what we're continuing to see those greatest changes with, and that is especially where we're seeing those main areas of smoke moving to the north. California Valley, Shandon, the Carrizo Plain, all likely to see significant smoke at least over the next few hours, but by later on this afternoon, those winds are going to shift once again, and those communities near Isla Vista and Santa Barbara will once again see significant smoke by later on today into the overnight hours. Now around the lake fire, winds are definitely a concern. Starting to see those pick up already 20 to 25 miles an hour for those peak wind gusts later on this afternoon. Mid afternoon is the trickiest time for this wildfire. It's also the hottest time for those firefighters out there. So it's definitely going to be another tricky day. Thankfully, calmer conditions in the overnight hours for those battling the lake fire. Now, what we're going to be seeing for today, we do still have those excessive heat warnings in place for San Luis Obispo and Santa Barbara counties. Thankfully, the area has shrunk just a little bit with a few communities clearing these warnings already. We're going to see those warm temperatures today and tomorrow. And we're also going to be seeing a little bit of some monsoon energy by later on tomorrow. Now, that's mainly going to be in the interior valleys and making its way very slowly farther towards the west, but this monsoon, even though rain is going to be very, very slightly possible. That's not going to be the concern. The greatest concern is for the chance for a few lightning strikes, especially in the afternoon hours, Saturday into Sunday. Checking out your temperatures today, 104 in Paso Robles, 76 in San Luis Obispo, 72 in Santa Maria, 73 in Lompoc, and 76 in Santa Barbara for today. Cooling down just in the low 90s by Tuesday in Paso Robles, mid-70s for San Luis Obispo. Santa Maria looking at the mid-60s, 70s in Santa Barbara for today. We've got really good weather on the way thankfully cooler finally here on the central coast. Neil, back to you. All right, Vivian.